family fortunes. And tonight's families are the Hyam family from Matlock, Derbyshire. And they're playing the Wallace family from Merseyside. Now, please welcome your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to the show where two families battle for the chance of winning up to £5,000 and a choice of star prize, either this top-of-the-range family estate... Yes, this two-litre spacious estate comes with all mod cons plus a variety of safety features and with this model, it's all part of the package. Or a fantastic holiday for up to 12 people. This week's Sun International Holiday is at La Coco Beach on the east coast of Mauritius, where you'll find a glittering array of sporting and leisure activities, or you can just laze around in the sun. OK, Alan, meet Jim. Hi, Alan. Hi, Jim. Top six answers in this first game, 100 people surveyed in all our games. We asked 100 people to name something that a woman wears in bed. Jim. Nothing. <laughs> you are on a promise later on, aren't you? <laughs> Something a woman wears in bed is nothing. <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it, Alan. A uh, nightdress. A nightdress, Alan. It's the top answer, 90. Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. Play or pass? Yeah. Rejoin your family, no conferring, and of course the Hyams get together in case you get a chance to steal some answers later on and get in. Hiya, Frida. Hi. You went to Spain, what happened? Oh, well, we went to Spain and we were sitting having our, our breakfast of the morning. And he decides to go and get the paper while I pay the bill. He, he decides. Yeah. Oh. Him, him, yeah. Here. Well, he has yeah. to have his paper, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, you can have your paper with your breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm paying the bill, and all this money I'm paying her over, and instead of paying the total of the bill, I was paying the receipt number. So all my money had gone, and I didn't know what. <laughs> so what did you do when you got back? I asked him, had you paid the bill? Well, the yeah, yeah. And I looked at him, paid about £300 for two bags. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> So I run back in the restaurant, into the kitchen, found the waiter, and he was just stuffing in his back pocket. Yeah. What did you do, Alan? Oh, well. I said, give us it back, <laughs> with, uh, with that effect. Like a good scouser. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, give us it he, back, he, or else. He didn't argue, he handed his treat over. get a yozza kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Frida, what do you think? Um, sexy underwear. Sexy underwear. <laughs> You're on a promise tonight there, Alan. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, how are you doing? Hi, Les. You're a nurse, and, but you're squeamish. Well, it was, it was an incident when I was a student nurse. Right. Um, it was my first day on a surgical ward, on right. a placement on a surgical ward. Um, and I went to do this dressing with the, with the sister. Right. She started pulling all this dressing out of her back. And the next thing I knew, I woke up on the bed next to this patient with an <laughs> oxygen mask on my face. <laughs> You're a nurse. You fainted and you yeah. end up in the bed. Mm -hmm. And that's why we can't get any beds at Whiston Hospital. Because <laughs> <laughs> the nurses are taking... <laughs> With all these little old dears, you know, all the faces around yeah. me. Oh, oh poor girl. <laughs> so I was very embarrassed, but thankfully the sister let me go home that morning. And have you got over your fear of blood since? <laughs> I did, I did. Okay, yeah. Karen, what I do did. you think? Um, Pajamas, Les. Pajamas! <laughs> no, good answer, but not there. I thought that would have been there. Two lives have gone, the Hyams might get a chance to steal. Mike, you've got a cockatiel. Yes, Les. Uh, his name's Rocky. Rocky. Yeah, he, he's uh, been round the family. Everybody's had him and yeah. about 15, given him up. Fifteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now he, uh, he, he likes, he likes lager. <laughs> he likes eating crisp. Yeah, he, uh, sings football songs. Does he? Wolf whistles the women only. Yeah. He's, uh, a bit Is of a he a character. football supporter? He's an Evertonian. Less. Is he? Oh, <laughs> I thought he said he was a football supporter. <laughs> <laughs> Alan said something like that. Before, <laughs> in a little All right. What do you think, Mike? Uh, socks, Les. Socks. Feet out for the lads. You've got a prize. Michael, you've won a canal holiday on the scenic English waterway. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Going to take Rocky. We <laughs> may just do that. Yeah. We we'll have a few beers up. along the way, along Maybe. the canal there. Hi, Becky. Hi, Les. You're a student nurse. Yeah. You're just, just about to pass, in yeah. fact, aren't you, and become a full-time yeah. nurse? And what happened when you took your husband to hospital? Well, he was cutting the Christmas tree to fit in the, um, the Christmas tree stand, Les, and he cut his finger. Right. It was all gushing with blood. 
And um, he was going, oh, I think I'll have to go to hospital with this. I said, oh, you'll be all right. Just put her under the tap. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he moaned about it. So I said, oh, come on, I'll drop you off at A&E and I'll go to work. Yeah. So I dropped him off thinking he'd be waiting for ages. And I come back later on, he'd been rushed through to have archery repair on his finger. <laughs> it gone straight through an artery. And yeah. you hadn't noticed. <laughs> It'll be all right. Stick it. A nurse, stick it under the tap. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, what do you think? Um, the rollers. 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 Yeah. Curlers. <laughs> yes, it's answer number three. It's a great contraceptive, isn't it? Oh, uh, big turn off that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Alan? A uh, negligee. A negligee. No, so three lives are gone. The Hyams get a chance to steal. Cole. Hennet. 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 Oh, I thought you said Hennet. <laughs> Hennet. OK. Jane. A smile. A smile? Or is it a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Tim. Jewelry less. Jewelry. Perfume. Perfume. Amanda. Jim. A few uh, answers there. I was going to say Hennet, but uh, we're going to go for perfume less. We're looking forward to steal perfume. <laughs> yes, Jane. Yes, 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 well played, Jim. Who <laughs> that was a Sergeant Major's handshake. You'd usually have that round me throat, wouldn't you? Knowing you, less yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Missing answers. Number five <laughs> is cream. Oh, I see. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> answer number four on something that a woman wears in bed is <laughs> a smile, <laughs> as Jane said. Yeah, Let's play on round two. <laughs> Take a look, Amanda. <laughs> Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name something associated with teddy boys. Amanda. A quiff. A quiff. Yeah. Hairstyle, the DA. What does it stand for? Don't ask. Play or pass? Play. Play. Rejoin and no conferring. The Wallaces, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. I'm going to lose all your credibility now because your dad insists that wherever you go, wherever you go, you take your teddy bear. Is that uh, right? Um, I've, been, I've been known to in my younger days on holiday. All right, he's, but... he's brought it with him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he was a superhero. He, was, he, he used to have a cloak. He was like Super Ted, was he? Yeah, he was Super Ted. And, super uh, Ted. Look at his is, face. <laughs> we sneak it in his case yeah. wherever he goes on holiday, and it, half the time he doesn't know he's with him. But he he's know. never been on the telly suit. He's never, he's never been on the telly suit. He's been you everywhere on the telly. get soups on the telly. Yeah. There you go, Tim. There's soups. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> what do you think? Um, suede shoes, Les, I think. Suede shoes. Crepe shoes. Yes. Crepe shoes, but I think they're all right. Jane. Um, drain pipe trousers. Drain pipe trousers. <laughs> Is that to number two? Oh, well played, oh, Jane. Oh, You've got a prize. What have we got? Pizza. Jane, you've won a super sleuth weekend for two at the Harrogate Hotel made famous by Agatha Christie. Okay. Excellent. Cole, what do you think? Um, a motorbike. A motorbike. No, so we lose a life on that. Luminous socks. Yeah, OK, you, they always wore the kind of like the pink or the yeah. green luminous socks. <laughs> Good thinking, but it isn't there, so two lives are gone. The Wallaces might get back in. Amanda, you tried to uh, pinch your husband's bum one day and it went drastically wrong, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did, Les. What was it? I, um... My husband and I were out shopping and we went into sort of um, a clothes wear warehouse. Yeah. He went one way and I went the other. And um, I sort of finished doing what I'm doing and I sort of sidled up to this chap thinking it was my husband. Yeah. I sort of put my hand on his bum and was squeezing his bum. <laughs> and I said, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and this chap turned around and said, hello, carry on doing that. And I went, ah! <laughs> just ran out of the shop. I was just so embarrassed. You were embarrassed, but I tell you, so you should have seen his face while you were doing that. <laughs> he loved being experimented on. He was like, like, this chap was saying, carry on, carry, carry on. on. No, 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 go away, go carry away. Carry on, Sergeant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Amanda, what do you think? Um, rock and roll music. Rock and roll music. <laughs> yes, rock and roll is answer number five. We have a prize for you, Peter. Amanda, you've won a health spa two day break for two. Located in a stately home at Hawcross in the heart of rural Staffordshire. Fantastic! Thank you ever so much. Don't get pitching any bums no, there. No. Oh, Tim, where, where's, where's he gone, Soups? He's, uh... <coughs> you put him on the floor? Well, I can put him there if you like. Yeah, leave him there. Yeah. He's nice. Right. What do you think? <sighs> Bit young for this one. Uh, <laughs> leather jackets, Les. Leather jackets! <laughs> so, a chance now for the Wallace family to play. Becky. 
Brill cream in the hair, lads. Brill cream. Yeah, drape, drape flock jacket. The drape jackets. Karen. Comb. A comb. Frida. The lace tie around the neck. The boot lace tie. Yeah. Alan, a few answers there. Were you ever a Ted? <laughs> no, I was a mod. Were you? When yeah. I had air, yeah. You'd have had to be with that hair, wouldn't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I always had it short, lads. You always, always had it short. What? You what? saw you could go fast on your scooter. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> What would um, you go with? Uh, we're going for the drape coat. To steal drape coat. <laughs> it isn't there. Good answer for not there. So the Hyams get the money they work for. The missing answers. Number six <laughs> is hair cream. Somebody's going to say brill cream. And answer number four on something associated with teddy boys is... <laughs> Bootlace <laughs> tie. OK, let's play on round three. Karen, come and meet Tim. Tim. Hi. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a non-liquid that you put in a drink. Tim. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Top answer. <laughs> Clay, OK, oh, rejoin your family. No conferring, folks. You can't confer on this. The Wallaces think of some answers. What do you think, Jane? A non-liquid that you put in a drink. A lemon. A lemon <laughs> is answer number three. Well played. <laughs> ice. OK, Carl, we're looking for ice. Yes! Cool answer, cool prize, we hope. What have we got, Peter? Well, Cole, from Steps to Sibelius, it all sounds better on this CD hi-fi system. OK? Yes, 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 thank you. Well played, Carl. Jim, going well? All lives left? Um, cherries. All right, Jim, you're going to put a Sergeant Major <laughs> with a cherry in his drink. That's your image gone right out the window, isn't it? Yeah, but I always put it in for the wife, Les. So oh, well, there you go. Jim puts it in for the wife. We're looking for a cherry. <laughs> 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 Suddenly realised what they were laughing at, then. <laughs> Amanda? Um, powdered milk. OK. Powdered milk. <laughs> we lose a life. Tim? Uh, tea bag, Les. Tea bag. <laughs> Good thinking, but not there. The Wallaces might steal. Jane, two answers to find. One life left. The novelty umbrellas that you put in cocktails. OK, as in Del Boy, with a novelty <laughs> umbrella in my cocktail, Rodney. <laughs> no, so it isn't there. So, Wallace family, a chance to yeah. steal. Becky? Um, chocolate powder, Les. Chocolate powder, Mike? Mm, coffee powder, Les. Coffee powder, Karen? Ice cream, Les. Ice cream. Spoon. Spoon. Alan? Uh, Got an answer of your own? No, I haven't. <laughs> well, there are more. a few good ones there. I think we'll go for Spoon. If Spoon is one of the two missing answers, then you've got some money on the board. We're looking for Spoon. <laughs> no! <laughs> the Highlands get a clean sweep of the first half of the game. The missing answers. Number six. <laughs> Coffee. Keep coming up with the answers, not going with them. Answer number five on a non-liquid that you put in a drink is... Straw. So, at the halfway stage in the game, the Wallaces have yet to score, but don't worry, it can all change in double money, and the Hyams have £250. We're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes for double money and big money, where one of our families will play for £5,000 in the car of the holiday. We'll see you then. Let's play double money. <laughs> Mike, meet Jane. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed were twice the price they were before the break. We asked 100 people, top five answers, to name a living thing that doesn't have legs. Mike. Worm. A worm. <laughs> the early worm. Nearly got the top answer. Jane, this is the top one. Um, plant. A plant. Why does it say heavy, pl heavy plant crossing then? <laughs> a plant. It's there, but you have control. What do you want to do? Play. Play. You need to get some money on the board, so you need to play. So the Hyams think of some answers. Becky, what do you think? A fish, Les. A fish doesn't have legs, but it has fingers. <laughs> yes. Those are number three. Well played. Two answers to find. Get you back in the game. These two answers, Alan. A uh, snake. A snake, Alan. Top Woo! answer, well done. <laughs> Frida. Slug. Get some cash in the bank if this is right. We're looking for a slug. <laughs> so we lose a life. Karen. A maggot. OK, let's have a look for a maggot. <laughs> no, got to go carefully, because the Hyams could nick and maybe go through to big money. Mike. Uh, snail, OK, we've looked for a slug. Now we're looking for a snail. 
Becky, meet Cole. Becky. Top four answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name a slang word for face. Cole. No idea, Les. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. No idea, Les. So you get a... Uh, uh, Becky. Your mush. Your mush, <laughs> Becky. Yes, it's there. What do you want to do? Play or pass? Oh, yeah. Play, rejoin, no conferring. Alan, what do you think? Uh, your clock. Have a look at your clock. Clock your clock. Yes. It's a real Liverpool one, isn't it? Oh, no, no. Frida. You gob. You... <laughs> <laughs> you gob. <laughs> so we lose a life on that, Karen. Um, you mug, Les. You mug? Mug shot? Yes. <laughs> OK, Mike, it's all turned round, cos if you find this answer, you're playing big money. Yeah, boat race, Les. We're going for boat race. <laughs> It was so close. I mean, you were so ahead, and then they just came from behind. No problem. We're still celebrated. The highest from Matlock, you've been a smashing family. You've got that murder mystery weekend. You've got the health spa break and the hi-fi system and £250. You've been absolutely great. Stand at ease, Jim. Thank you, and a quick march. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Well done, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Came back from the dead dirt, didn't you? Oh, you needed to, didn't you? OK, what are you going to do? Are you going to play for the car or are you going to go with Irma Ritius on holiday? We're going for the car, Les. All right, who's going to play? Myself and Michael. Alan and Mike, join me at the mic. <laughs> OK, Alan, you play first. Mike, go and put the headset on. We'll call you back. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Right, clear Good yeah. luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Apart from king or queen, name another royal title. Prince. Something you'd see in a canal. Barges. Something that you drink beer out of. A glass. Something you serve with eggs. Ch uh, chips. A, a sport where you need to jump. High jump. Whoa, quickly answered. <laughs> well done, Alan. That was fast. What about the eggs? Hey? Eggs. You're worried about bacon. the eggs? Should have had bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you prefer the chips? Egg and chips. Egg and chips. Best meal of the day. It is fantastic. Liverpool meal, isn't it? That's fine. <laughs> Apart from king or queen, name another royal title. You said. Prince, our survey said. <laughs> yes, 38. <laughs> Top answer, we're going well. Something you'd see in a canal. You said. A barge or barges, our survey said. <laughs> 37. <laughs> Top answer. Something that you drink beer out of, you said. A glass, our survey said. <laughs> We're going well, we got 118 and three top answers. Something you serve with eggs, you said. Chips, our survey said. 28 is a good answer, but it's not a top answer. 146. A sport where you need to jump, you said. High jump, our survey said. <laughs> Four top answers, rejoin your family, we'll clear the board and bring Mike back. Welcome back, Mike. Alan's done really well. He's got 179 and four top answers. So you need to find 21, and that one top answer will get you £5,000 for the money. And also, if you get that one missing top answer, you will get the car as well. I've got the keys in my pocket, waiting to give them. 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear the sound. I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had? I can have 20 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck, Mike. <laughs> Apart from king or queen, name another royal title. Prince. Something else. Princess. Something you'd see in a canal. Boat. Something that you drink beer out of. Glass. Something else. A mug. Something you serve with eggs. Chips. Another. Sausage. A sport where you need to jump. High jump. Another. L long jump. Long jump. OK, well played. <laughs> we need answer number four to flash to get us the car. Apart from king or queen, name another royal title. You said, princess, we'd already had the top answer. If it's worth 21 or more, you've got £5,000. You said, princess, our survey said... <laughs> yes! Is yours. It's the top answer. Now we go on. The next two are immaterial. We need to see number four flash for the car. Something you'd see in a canal. Use a boat. Nothing. 
Something that you drink beer out of. You said a mug, our survey said seven. So we need this to be a flashing answer. Something you serve with eggs. We'd already had chips. There is a top answer there. You said sausage. Please flash. Our survey said two. It was bacon or ham. Was worth 39. That's his favourite, bacon and eggs. You've got £5,000. You did really well. You were smashing. Sorry, just so close to the car. £5,390. Hard luck. Hard luck, Mike. Thanks a lot. Bye. So, what games have you been enjoying this year? See if your favourite comes up trumps in the BAFTA Video Games Awards Winners Programme this Sunday night at 11 on Challenge.